Hello, milepost one. In IPC today, we are learning how to make a picture in the style of Juan Muro. Now, I've already made one, however, my videos didn't work so well. So this is take two. We are making a picture based on an experience we've had. The story behind this picture was a trip I took to Koh Tao in Thailand. And Koh Tao means turtle in Thai. So I've drawn a large and not very realistic turtle. And I've split the paper into four and drawn two bits with water to represent the water around the island and all of the water things that I did. And two sides are sand because they have very lovely sandy beaches. Now, bear with me as I move the computer. Okay, today you will need a pencil, an eraser, a piece of paper, and if you have them, watercolor paints. With that, You'll also need some brushes and a cup of water for cleaning your brushes. If you don't have watercolor paints at home, that is okay. You can color in your picture using colored pencils. To start, we're going to really lightly sketch the shape of the turtle. Now I'm sketching really, really lightly in case there's a part that I don't like so much. That way, it's quite easy to go back and rub out or erase those lines. Okay, I've sketched out my turtle, but I don't really like its tail, so I'm going to fix that. Now I'll move the computer, well, let's move the paper instead. I'm not sure, can you see the light lines of sketching? And I'm doing that so that I know where to paint. This is a guideline for the rest of my painting. Now, Miro really liked bright colors and bold lines. So I'm going to paint my turtle as bright a green as I can make with my watercolor paints. So I put a bit of water in the paint. There we are. And I'm going to start with its shell. Now, using those lines that I drew, I'm going to go around very carefully to paint the sea turtle's shell. And I'm using small strokes to get my border. And then I'll use some slightly longer strokes going across to color the turtle. And you'll notice I'm going along from the edge. I'm not scribbling or painting like a crazy person in the middle of the shell. And I'm doing that to try to make sure that the color of the turtle is even. Now I'll paint this and then we'll come back for the next step. As I paint, because I am right-handed, I'm starting on the left-hand side and painting to the right because I don't want my hand to smear the paint. If you are left-handed, you will start from the left side 
right side, excuse me, and paint to the left. When we paint with watercolors, we don't want the paper to get too wet. So if there's a spot with extra paint, we can use that to add color somewhere else. Now I'm getting quite close to the edge of my turtle. So I'm going to turn my paper to ensure that I have a nice, neat line. All right, there is my sea turtle shell. Next, I'm going to paint his four legs. One, two, three, four. His head and his tail. I've added a little bit of yellow to my green to make it a bit lighter. And I've also switched to a slightly smaller brush so that I can paint those flippers nicely. And I'm working again from the edges so that I have nice clear lines and then painting in coloring in the white from there. And I want the whole picture to be painted. I don't want any white spots. So I'm going to take my time and do my personal best, just like I know you will with your art. If you notice, I keep turning the paper and that, again, is because I don't want to get paint all over my hand and I don't want to smudge the paint across the paper. If you are painting at home, make sure that you have permission from a grown-up and that you've put down some newspaper underneath so that you don't accidentally make a very big mess unless you have permission, of course. Sometimes messes are fun. Now, as you can see, I've painted the turtle, the shell, flippers, head, and tail. Next, I'm going to paint the sand. When we switch colors, we need to put a brush in water and make a circular motion against the bottom to get out all of the extra paint. I want my sand to be brown. I don't want it to be green like the turtle. After you've cleaned your brush, you can dry it by painting gently on the newspaper. So now I'll switch to the brown for sand. Ooh, I'm going back to my smaller brush again because I need to get in here between the shell and the flipper. I'm being very careful to keep my colors separate. And I've gone with yellow 
even though the sand in Gotao is a lovely bright white, similar to Diani, but in the style of Miro, I wanted to use as bright colors as I can. And this is abstract art. So it's okay that the colors are not the same as in real life. You're allowed to be creative with your artwork. Okay, let me paint the other side of sand and then we'll move on. So I'm rinsing out my brush again in the same way, going in circles, drawing for 10 circles on the bottom of the cup and then I'll dry my brush on the newspaper. Now I'm going to wait just a bit before I add the blue for the sea because can you think back to art class with Miss and Jane? What happens if we mix yellow and blue? That's right we get green and I'd really like my ocean to be blue here not green. So we'll wait a little bit to let this dry. Now it's time to paint the blue representing the ocean. And I'm going to start right next to my turtle and be very careful because the blue is a darker color than the green. And I don't want my turtle to be blue, just like I don't want my water to be green. And I'm still turning the paper to make sure that my hand doesn't smudge the paint. Now I've finished painting my sand and my water. Next, I want to outline the turtle and the separations in the page. But first, I need to make sure my painting is dry so that the black paint doesn't bleed all over my other bright, pretty colors. Now that my paint is dry, I'm going to use black with a bit of purple because my black is nearly finished as a dark color to outline my turtle. Now this is the point in which I need to be very very careful because black is the darkest color I'm using so if I veer off into the sand it will definitely show up. And very carefully, I'm going to go around the turtle first. And I'll turn my paper again so that I'm not smudging or smearing the paint. Nearly there.
Now my turtle boldly stands out against the sand and the water. I also want to separate those with some thick black lines. Last, I'm going to paint the turtle's eyes. And I'd like those to be a bright yellow, so I've rinsed out my brush really, really well. All right, so here is my painting, done in the style of Juan Miro and it's based on an experience that I've had. Your task today is to make your own picture in the style of Juan Miro based on an experience you've had. Could be somewhere you've gone or something you've done. I really, we all really look forward to seeing your art.